Hey everybody, Devo82 from Public Enemy Clan here, bringing you another combat mission video. This time we are Helmand defending. Uh, we have lost the first objective, I've had to skip through that. Uh, just so I can get the video in time uh, to fit in YouTube. So the last couple of objectives is where most of the stuff happens. Uh, joining me on the game today is Swedish Templar 1. Swedish is one of the top players in the game. Uh, usually gives me a very good run for my money when I'm playing. On Helmand, I like to change uh, the class that I'm using today, or at the moment at least I'm using the M4 on uh, salt, uh, sorry, Special Ops class. Um, I like Special Ops when defending, usually when they're tanks about, so I can quickly switch to an RPG and take them out. Um, but sometimes it can be advantageous to counter snipe on helmet, especially the second objective where we are just now. There's a couple of good spots where you can counter snipe, and it's important to counter snipe because you stop the opposition building up score chains, which essentially wipe you out, especially at the third objective at the bunker, which makes it almost impossible to defend. A good headset connection with Swedish today, so we're all working together as a team. Um, at this moment in time, he's telling me that everybody's coming for the ruins, so I need to come down here. Um, I'm actually recording on 480i, uh, so my picture quality is not too good on the monitor that I'm using, uh, so a lot of times I can't actually see who it is that's shooting at me, which doesn't help in a game where you're meant to identify the enemy and shoot them. I also felt I was having a little bit of lag as well when I would be playing. I would try to knife a couple of people and it would take ages for the knife to come up and I end up getting shot. Um, so we're just defending the second objective at the moment. See here, I've got lag. He went right by me. I was able to take him out. I've got to be careful of this part near the river because there's so many snipers about recently, but I've seen this tank come up. It's advantageous to take the one from behind. So, missed the first one. He's still there for the second. But also, that's a guy who was feeding up behind. Yeah, I think he was taken out actually. 64 points from one rocket, you can't get out of there. So, you'll get a few uh, enemy like to come up, stuck in behind the Okay, so I'll set up my tail to find out where everybody is. I think I've got Swedish over to my right as well. I'm not sure if I'm where people are coming from. I think quite a lot of people actually use the M4, they all go every bank, they seem to be able to play the fire and get from it. The only downside is damage is not as high as the damage. I'm always up to the hammer, but I do can lessen the clip. Unfortunately, I had decided to <laughs> reload mid shooting spree, which is never good. Um, usually try and flip to your pistol, but I think I felt I could get behind that wrong thing. When you spawn actually up the, the back there, it's always best to get out of here as quickly as possible. Right, yeah. snipers come no, the the I also got a message from the left Swedish telling me that hey, what is a lot of guys in that house. Them, so I get nothing from that mortar strike, it was wasted. It's not very often I actually get anything from a rocket strike. Um, you'll, see, you'll see where somebody is, usually either on the UAV or you can see them yourself. Um, you place your rocket strike, there's a delay of maybe about 6 or 7 seconds. So it can be quite annoying, I usually actually just take I think it's match ammo that you get with it, I usually take match ammo. Try and get towards that myself, but I've been noticing lately a lot of times I'll launch a missile. When it hits the target, the screen freezes and you end up having to kill yourself to get back in the game, um, which uh, disrupts your score train, which is never good. I was about to move the back there and somebody shot him. Yeah. 
he's just wasted his uh, fighter strike. He's placed his fighter strike on the ruins where there's not many of us around. Uh, the next uh, part of the school chain after fighter strike is cruise missile, so he's made it a bit more difficult for himself. It can be a very frustrating level to play on if everybody is uh, sniping. Um, you've got one or two snipers who are very good at what they're doing and everybody else is an assaulter. Uh, we can win cabin because every time you can respond to defend, you've got another uh, strike coming in and it can make it very, very easy for the assaulters to gain a sniper over here. If you want to be a sniper, it's incredible, uh, Myself and Swedish, Reloading. we actually attacked on the previous level. Um, I got a very good score of over 1,000 uh, points um, as an assault. Right Drop up. Person. Back of the headshot. He tries to shoot him with a shotgun, but he misses me. Yeah, we were playing earlier and uh, Swedish was getting very frustrated because it was the two of us that were attacking. Um, we actually won the level, but it was basically the two of us that won it ourselves. Uh, it took us about 10 minutes to actually take the second objective, and usually when we play with the clan it usually takes two minutes max. Um, so it was very frustrating. In fact, uh, <laughs> he actually decided to shout to everybody and... Uh, in very fierce terms to move up using language that couldn't possibly be repeated in this video. Uh, very impressive how a man from Sweden learns to learns to swear so well in English. So this is another good spot when the pain comes from the There's nobody coming up at all. Um, that's part of the problem that we have. We weren't quick enough when assaulting. Um, you're meant to be special forces when you're, you're using the, the uh, kind of allied coalition force and uh, the mantra of special forces is speed and aggression and they don't have this here, they're all sitting back. Uh, usually when we attack, there's about four or five of us that rush up, we bring the tank straight up, the tank here is sitting off. And they're essentially using the tank as a sniping weapon at the moment, um, just trying to pick people off from distance, which is pointless. Um, it's never going to it's never going to work. to build up the score chain to get to rocket but I died just as I did it so not only did I use the facility of having at least the motor still there I didn't get the rocket strike either so I didn't get anything from that although maybe I helped out the teammates by then again but fighter strike takes me out at this point when unloading the fighter strikes, the snipers should actually have been smart enough to have a look and see if there's anybody ready to assault the bunker because you can see here a spot all the way at the back, so I'm out of the game for maybe about 12 seconds, which is easily enough time for somebody to get into the bunker and to plant. I don't know if it was selfish by the sniper looking to get the the or I don't know if it was just So at the moment I've got the shotgun, which I like to use in the third objective. Um, the shotgun I think is a actually fantastic weapon, uh, underrated in the game perhaps. Uh, downside, it takes a hell of a long time to reload. You also get quite a lot of recoil from it. Oh, you don't even really have to uh, aim down the sight. The circle you can see the screen there, um, with, with which is uh, dancing around. Um, the circle you can use here is actually really good because you've got a very good spread on it. Again, that looks like a wasted strike. That was a cruise missile that came in. And when the cruise missile comes in at the bunker, everybody has to be ready to assault. And once people have assaulted and set the charges in the bunker, it's really difficult to get them out because there's a couple of spots in the bunker where they can camp. Friendly! 
Surprisingly, I'm tough at the leaderboard at that stage. Uh, usually, when I'm playing with Swedish, he's about 20 kills. Uh, but I think he was having an off day. Um, the one thing that was uh, genuinely nice, Swedish and I are good friends. We've played quite a lot of games now, uh, whilst we're in the public enemy clan. And when I told him I was top of the leaderboard, not only of this game, but the previous game as well, with a thousand points, he actually did seem genuinely delighted. So there's uh, not a good Frag his ass! What are you doing? I'm not sure if I took the tank and sold it, but uh, very close range shot or rocket, maybe one of the closest I've ever done. Um, I just turned my head around the corner. I'm sitting by rocket spike now. Trying to decide what's best for the team match ammo or to let one go. I decide. Sweden sets his at the exact same time he comes in the spike, so. I said, I remember saying to Swedish at the time, so I've just set my striker split second after you, and uh, he showed great sympathy by saying to me, ha 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 ha. But you can see there how good the shotgun was uh, because somebody wasn't even anywhere near the sights and I let a shot go and actually recorded as a, a headshot. Um, very, very good weapon at close range. I've had to move into close range when I'm actually playing this game because I couldn't see any of the distance. What the fuck? What the fuck? What Extremely poor, very poor. Missed those shots. Tried to get a knife and get killed. I should be very ashamed of that. That's the advantage of having an attacker who spawn a lot more quickly than the opposition. Um, you always try to have somebody alive. Um, the Swedish is just there. Um, never side that wall. If you're the only person there, you should essentially just wait there until your teammates spawn on you. Yeah, again and got a kill from that. So that's pretty good defence. They can't play a bit of a trick back the snipers, but they didn't do a very good job, and that's how we were able to win. Uh, I think it's both Swedish and myself that came top of the 